So I found it. I finally found it. A priceless piece of motorcycle history. And it was, it was only a half an hour away. It was basically in my own backyard. And to be honest, I'm, I'm practically stealing this motorcycle for $700. I, the, the seller has no clue what he's got. Just to give you guys some context, on and off, I've been trying to find one of these for the past decade, but the story starts a lot longer than that. The story starts about 20 years ago. As a kid, I've, I've always loved motorcycles. I, I was always trying to turn my bicycles into dirt bikes by putting a you know, soda can on the wheel and then running it over and having it make that noise and clipping baseball cards to the spokes of my bike and have, trying to make that noise like an exhaust. But I lived in the city and none of us not me and none of my friends uh, could have dirt bikes. Although one summer when I was 15 years old, I was hired by my youth pastor and he wanted me to come out, spend the whole week there and, and pull uh, poison ivy. He was deathly allergic to pull poison ivy. It would just it would kill him. So I, I came out there and I was pulling weeds for an entire week. It was hot. It was horrible work. And when it got time for him to pay me, he said, I can either pay you with cash or, and then he rolled this thing out. He rolled this Gorelli out of his garage and that was it. That, that was it. It hadn't ran in years. And of course I took that bike. And I feel like at that moment, the trajectory of my life completely changed. It, it, just, com it just completely, completely changed. Now we got that bike home. Now that bike didn't work at the time, but I got to learn how carburetors work. And me and my brother spent a couple days working on this. But the anticipation of getting this thing running was just you know, it, it was it was it was amazing. First, checking to see if it had spark. Yes, it had spark. Okay, this is going somewhere. Then, getting it to run off of starting fluid, just spraying it in the engine, and it, you know, it was it was so it was so much fun. And possibly the peak of a 15 year old boy's, you know, happiness was to get this thing to fire up and run on its own fuel, and then take it for a drive, take it for a drive around town, around the block, across the state you know what i mean and this bike is the whole reason why this channel exists why srk cycles is a thing that supports my family and, and, and other and other people's families and why thousands of other people have been inspired to also get on two wheels all because of this one bike you the guy i'm calling yeah yep how you doing Good. i was gonna ask you if you were near that corvette yeah, it's not my corvette you can just park in there okay cool awesome yeah how you doing? I'm Sean. Sean, Rob. Rob, nice to meet you. Nice to see you. So, it's in there. How do you want to handle this? Oh, uh, yeah, let's, let's go check it out. You got a lot of cool stuff. There's some stuff in here. Did you recently acquire this stuff? I got this over, a win over the winter from a friend in Maryland. How, what did that, what'd this one sell for? 700. Oh, okay. Runs and rides well. What's this one? That is a 58 Allstate scooter. Really? The ones that, uh, that Sears used to sell? Yes. Well, I, just, I, I actually just learned about these from a guy in New York. He was in uh, Woodstock, New York. How about all, Allstate? You know that Sears sold motorcycles. Never even heard of that. You selling that one? That, not, not today. I'm going to sell that one. It's beat up as it is, it runs and rides well, and it's probably as dependable as you're going to find a semi-vintage Vespa. Where, where, where did you find that Gorelli? There's some people in New York that have theirs. They've got stuff like that if you need parts. Oh, really? Yep. Do you have their contact? I do. Wow. So there is a titled Gorelli moped that right. runs and rides well.
so like most enthusiasts, he was really excited to answer all my questions and show me all of his bikes. He even showed me the rarest one that he owns. So it's a non-import Honda. It's called a squash. Is it the same engine as the uh, Moto Compo? Yeah, I believe so. I know it's the same as the Spree engine. It takes a real macho person to ride yeah. a tiny little scooter yeah, like that. You got to be a real, a real big man to ride a bike that small. Then we loaded the Grelly in the back of the truck, tied it down with some tank straps, and we are off to write the next chapter of this little moped's book. Thanks for coming. It's great meeting good, you. Good to see you. And there it is. Let's get this thing back to the shop. I got a. Uh, I got big plans for this. Real big plans for this. So when I first got my little Gorelli, it was kind of a funny, uh, kind of a funny time in my life where my family was kind of getting broken apart. One, it was a toy. You know, it was a cool toy that there's something to play with. But also, it, it opened up all these doors and all this uh, this kind of freedom in my life. You're not 16, but you can't drive a car. But I could get away with this. What more do you want? The other thing about it was, don't tell my wife this, that you got attention from girls. You know what? Tell my wife that. Because that's how I got her. Five years later, when I went to college, my my fur, our first date was like, "Hey, you want to go on a bike? You want to go and ride on my bike?" And she said, "Yeah." Two days later, got married. Nah, was like, like, I don't know. Thirteen months later, we got married. That's been my experience. Girls like the attention of a cool motorcycle. The cool thing about it is that it has no battery. It has it's got nothing. Everything's run off of its own system. So this could sit for 20 years, 30 years, 50 years, and all, it's, it's, if it has good gas in it, in theory, it should just fire up and run. We'll go outside and show you how to start it in a little bit. But what this thing is, this thing's a little oil, a little oil pump. So it does not inject it inside. Other two-stroke motors actually have a little inject, oil injection inside the carburetor. This one's a little simpler than that. You got this clear thing, and you can see how much oil is in it. And then this is a pump, so you would pull this out and it, it would pump into this. So you would put a gallon in here, and then you'd do a couple pumps, shake the bike around, and that's how you got your, your proper two-stroke mix. Another cool thing about it is right down here. So it's pretty simple, little, little tiny carburetor, anyone, it's a good way to learn how to work on carbs. That's the choke. And the way to take the carburetor off is to give it full throttle. The way to take the choke off is to give it full throttle. And it's simple and it's easy. I mean, think about this. As a young kid, as a young man, to see something like this, this is like, this is everything. You could, I can go camping. Me and my buddies, we could all get these things. We can go camping. We can go cruising around. We could go picking up chicks, putting them on the back. We can go, we can go get groceries for mom. Hey, you know, oh, mom's got to get groceries. Bam, we can go get groceries for mom and stick them in here. You could get a job at like DoorDash or pizza delivery or something like that. And for a hundred miles per gallon, you're making money. You're not gonna get anywhere that much faster in a car in the city as you would with something like this. I'm gonna throw my, uh, my motorcycle helmet with the camera and then let me show you guys what this thing's all about. Let's go see how fast this bike can really do. All right, so there's no key for it. Just run with it and then And now you're good. Look at us, we're doing 20, 25, 27, 29, 30 something. See, you could easily get this thing at 35, maybe even 40 miles an hour down the hill. Oh, this hill doesn't stop, does it? All right, we're going 15. I could have groceries in here, I could have luggage. If I had a girl in the back, it would definitely slow me down I did a considerable amount. If I had a girl in the back, she'd be pushing. <laughs> All right, listen, I need, to get a, I need to get off and push for a second.
here's the plan. There's this kid, his name's Alexander. He's 15 years old. He's, he's subscribed to the channel, big fan of the channel, and he's also really into vintage bicycles. He's actually putting a motor on one of these vintage bicycles right now, which is like, you know, it's a gateway drug to motorcycles, of course. We're gonna help jumpstart his passion for, for motorcycles, and we're gonna help him out a little bit. He thinks we're coming over there to check out his vintage bicycle collection. We've got some other plans. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You guys are gonna love this. Come on, let's go. Uh, let's go meet this kid. Hey guys! Yeah, just a bit. Can I see something? Um, this thing is awesome! Yeah, it's a 66 twin fastback with ram horns, the 5 speed, um, all original, tires, um, everything's spot on. Uh, of course, the wrap is matching. Um, you put that wrap on? No, it's um, as original as it can get. Damn! Um, that's so awesome. What is going on with this? This is something I figured you'd like. It's a it's a Western Flyer, Galaxy Flyer that I had around for a while, and I built it to ride at the beach, but I wasn't using it here, and I really wanted to get one of those motor bicycle conversion kits. Yeah, that's awesome. And so I got one and I converted it. Um, I haven't gotten running yet because of the chain situation on the side, because this tube goes where it's the chain should go. Right. I'm um, gonna have to reroute it and figure out that. I should have the parts that should get it going. But it's a 66 cylinder, CC, uh, single cylinder. Um, should make about like two and a quarter horsepower. That's not bad. Yeah. That's not bad for a little bike like that. What about, that'll probably do 45 miles an hour? Yeah, if you gear it right, you can do 40, 45. It do look super cool. Yeah. Let me take this thing for a spin, man. Yeah, that's sweet. That's sweet. Yeah. Alright, when you're when you're all right, so when you're cruising, you holding up here? Um, yeah, so I like cruising. You throw it down, you throw it down like sport mode. <laughs> so they can sit back there. You can be riding up here, and they can sit right there. Oh yeah. <laughs> if a bike uh, out of a campground like that with the banana seat, it works pretty well. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah. Well, you let me take uh, your bike first, Dan. You want to take that for a little bit? That's pretty sweet. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah. yeah. I want to find an old. The 50s, it's so valuable now. It's like a rally. This is actually a, almost the exact bike that I that 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 I started on. Really? When I was when I was 15 years old. Yeah. How old are you? Uh 15. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah. Um, it's probably much better shape though. When you get going, you you pull this real hard, and that only actually if it's a. So you can pedal start it. Then it's just uh, the twisting go. Okay. Not long. We don't uh, should I run around the yard? No, I don't know. Take a little trip. Whatever. Whatever you guys are doing. All right. So pumped. He's, he's, he's so pumped about these bicycles, and he's he's gonna be he's gonna freaking love this. Yeah. Hit that cat. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's yours. No way. Well, yep. thank you. 
Actually, those teeth aren't those teeth aren't in for it. You know, <laughs> it, was, it was symbolic. <laughs> there you go, Craig. My house keys. <laughs> Do you want a key ring for this? It's yours, man. Man, well, thank you very thank much. It. Love it. I got a title that we'll give. Uh, we gotta flip it over in our name, and then we'll, we'll send it to you. All right. It's so it's road legal. Yeah. Man. You gotta put a tag on it. I don't know how that works. Yeah. How sweet is that? Well, thank you very much again. Yeah, I, I got one. Someone gave, someone gave it to me when I was 15. I thought, uh, thought I'd pass it on. Thank you. Wow. That's awesome. And if you restore it or make it awesome, let me know. I'll come back and I want to check it oh, out. Oh, for sure. I'll do some work to it. Yeah, I'll do research and figure out what uh, what all about. And uh, get it real nice. Cool, man. Sweet. Thank awesome. you very much. <laughs> Guys, I brought this back. He's gonna go pick it up at the house because I didn't have a ride home. Today's been a good day. Guys, don't forget to subscribe. Check out this next video, and we'll see you guys next time. It's Greg catching up. Ha ha, Greg.